हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज योर नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी मार्क द बिगनिंग ऑफ अ मारपोल सीरीज सो दिस विल बी द इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट व्हाई व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ मारपोल हाउ द मारपोल केम इनटू एग्जिस्टेंस एंड व्हाई द मारपोल एंटर इनटू 1983 आफ्टर कमिंग इनटू 73 एंड देन मॉडिफाइड 78 Why it entered in 1983? After that, we'll see the major protocol of Marpol, and then we'll see through a series of date that when each of the Marpol incident annex entered into force. So please tune till last. I guarantee you will learn a lot. Friend, Marine Engineering Hub have started a membership. Those who want to enjoy exclusive perks and want to clear exam in a quick way. they can subscribe and they can watch the videos which are yet to be released friend marine engineering hub is a platform in which you make video like this which will be beneficial for examination purpose and also for your ship related service so please do subscribe us and please do share our meet our video in your social media platform so that we get encouraged so let's start today video what is the purpose of marpol So basically, why the Marpol came? So Marpol came by the incident of Tory Cannon. When the incident Tory Cannon happened at that time, there was a need of a Marpol. Before that, there was one regulation called Oil Pool. So the purpose of Marpol. is that it was developed by the imo and the basic aim behind that was to minimize the pollution of the ocean and sea which include dumping of oil and air pollution so the marpol is mainly talking about to minimize the pollution in ocean and sea with respect to oil and air so as you can see in this here pictures this is a tory air cannon incident which happened in 1967 this was the incident which led to the fast track development of the marpol so before marpol what was there so before marpol there was a oil pool oil pollution convention in this oil pollution convention and marpol convention what is the difference so difference between marpol and oil pool was that the oil pool was only talking about oil pollution living about living out the other pollutant means in the oil pool they are not taking into the concentration of the other pollutant but in marpol we are taking into consideration of the not only oil but also the other pollutants like sewage sludge hazardous cargo air everything so before, because of that the marpol came so before marpol there was a oil pool So now, after that, we know that Marpol came in seventy three, seventy eight because of the Tory Cannon incident. What happened in Tory Cannon incident? So what happened? The Tory Cannon ship got collided on the coast of Spain and causes a oil pollution because of the bad weather and get grounded. Because why? Because of the failure of the steering means they have a problem in steering because of which they were unable to rectify and the ship ultimately grounded and the oil pollution occur along the coastline of spain and portugal so this incident trigger the response of the imo and they felt that there should be a strong regulation for preventing this such type of incident so what they have done they have came up with the marpol 73 and 78 so what is marpol 73 78 in the examination they ask you that what is marpol 73 and 78 so in marpol 73 when came it came up with the extensive requirement which was incorporated in a 1973 so what happened after seeing the toy cannon incident the marpol was made with the extensive requirement in 1973 for both for the ship 
and the administration which causes many state to prevent it from ratification means many state was reluctant to ratify because of the extensive requirement which was incorporated in the 1973 marpol so it causes an protocol amendment it make the need for a protocol amendment to be made so that in order to come into force so what happened in 73 we after the toy can incident in 1967 the imo brought a marpol which was very extensive in requirement which was reluctant by the ship owner and the administration of the state to ratify which causes the modification to come in 78 which is called marpol protocol 78 so in 78 what we have done we have bring we have decided that various annex of this convention which was in 73 will be bring into the force in a phase manner instead of all at a same time so there was a relaxation provided that instead of all the annex coming at a same time which was too many thing to take at a same time it was decided that it will be coming in a phase manner in a phase manner it will come and because of that it was now acceptable to everybody and hence it enter into force in 1983 so what happened 73 they make the regulation which was very extensive requirement was put which was reluctant by the administration and the ship after that the protocol was made in 78 which promises that it will be an access will be made to come in phase manner after that the all the state ratify and then the marpol enter into force in 1983 so i hope now you have a clear idea that why marpol enter into force in 1983 so there was major protocol which was done first what done in 1978 was that delaying the entry into the force of annex 1 so what was happening both annex 1 and annex 2 was supposed to come into force in 1973 which was too much to take and hence many state was reluctant so they have delayed the entry into force of annex 2 in 1978 protocol in protocol 1 they have made that all the incident involving the harmful substance should be reported and in protocol 2 they have talks about that if there is any dispute then how the arbitration process will be done you know why this all thing came because after the toy can incident there was a lot of issue regarding the litigation which led to all this protocol development in 1987 annex 6 came so as you can see in the screen there is a oil noxious liquid substance harmful substance package four sewage five garbage and six air so there are total six annexes in the marpol okay the first one talks about the oil pollution the second one talks about the noxious liquid substance the third one talks about the harmful substance carried in package form the fourth one talks about the sewage pollution fifth one talks about garbage and sixth one talk about air so as you can see from the oil pollution convention the marpol talks about series of other pollutant other than oil and it came into for force in a phase wise manner annex 1 came into force in 1983 noxious liquid substance came into force in 1987 harmful substance 1992 sewage 2003 garbage 1988 and air 2005 now you can see here the sewage came in 2003 but garbage came in 1988 why like that why it is 4 and 5 so as you can see the basic whole structure of the marpol was made in 1973 but it was delayed and because of delaying of the ratification means the garbage regulation was ratified very earlier so it came in force in 1988 but the sewage was not ratified by most of the states and hence it came in 2000 
3. Okay. So I hope in Marpole there are total 6 annexes and total 137 regulation. So I hope in today video you have learned that what is Marpole protocol, what is Marpole 7378, why it is called 7378 and why it entered into force 1983, why there was a delay. Why how the marble came into existence and what is the purpose so if you like the video please do subscribe and please do share video in, a, in our social media platform friends those who are watching till now I know that you guys want to clear the exam and you guys want to have a good sea life so please I beg you that you please join the membership I guarantee that you will get benefited from that and you will have a quick clear of the examination. Thank you friend. Have a good day.